Hey everybody, this is Brian, and we're continuing our conversation of the Q Tree widget. Um, sorry, I have to split this up in a couple different uh, videos because YouTube likes to make videos small. <laughs> but uh, so, if you haven't watched Q21 Q Tree widget, go watch it because we're using the exact same code. And just to show you, let's run this. And there's our our hello world with our items. And we notice how in the other tutorial we didn't add any functionality to the click me button. That's what we're going to do this tutorial. So just go to slot. And then you can say UI tree widget. And you guessed it, current item. And let's say uh, set background color. And notice how you can do the column. We're going to say column zero, we're going to say cute red. And let's actually cute blue. Save your work, run it. Maybe if this thing ever compiles, I think I got a virus scan going in the background. All right. So when you select an item and click me, you notice how it does that now. Obviously, I made a boo boo. Let's go back into our code here. That should be one. Compile that again. This thing should work this time. Sorry about that. There we go. So you can control the cells individually. Um, it's very important that you understand the concept when working with the Q tree widget with columns and rows. You see that selection going across? That's a row and going up and down are columns. It allows you to take tabular data, um, column data, and collapse it. That's a feature you don't see in a lot of frameworks, but Q gives it to you at no cost. Now one thing we haven't covered is how to actually set the column headers. I mean, it would be nice instead of just 0, 1, we could actually show some text up there. So the way you set those header labels is very, very simple. Let's actually do this up in the very beginning of this here. You know, so we got our set column count two. What we're going to do is say UI, tree and then we're going to say set. And you can do them individually through set header label. And we're just going to do that. Say call A. And let's run this. And you notice how it says call A now instead of 1. And each time you call that, it'll do the next one, the next, and the next. The somewhat easier way is if you say UI tree widget set header labels. And notice the plural labels. And it this one takes a Q string list, so we'll say Q. Q string list. We're just going to make one, and then you can just uh, input those in there. We'll say one, very simple, very easy to work with. Compile and run it, and if everything goes according to plan, you now have your headers. So that's it for the tree view. Um, feel free to shoot me any questions you got. I've been fairly busy with work and kid and girlfriend and all that, but uh, I'll try to get you emails in a timely fashion. Uh, this is Brian. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining, and uh, stay tuned.